I help people get jobs for free. Free. Yep. Free. More specifically, I'm on a mission to empower 25,000 Black, Latino, Latina, and people of color to cumulatively make $30 billion in income over the next 20 years. And I'm looking to help them for free. How am I going to do that? So I lead a nonprofit organization called Rework Training. What's the difference between a nonprofit and a for-profit organization? Relatively simple. So for-profit organizations, whenever they make money, the, the money... That's left over the bottom line typically goes to whoever owns the organization and its stakeholders. They get to take that money home, put it in their pocket, get rich, do that thing. Rather than a nonprofit organization, all the money that we make as an organization, the bottom line, the money that's left over, it goes back into helping more people. It goes back into the mission of the organization. And the organization is owned by the people, not by one or two individuals. And so for the last seven years, Rework Training has been around raising money to help to support individuals cumulatively make 30 billion in income over the next 20 years. That's the goal. So let's back up. So in my own life, I didn't go to school for this. In fact, I didn't go to school at all. I didn't go to college. I dropped out of high school. And growing up, man, I remember jumping from job to job. Like it was you just got to make ends meet and you just go. I went to whoever was paying more. And honestly, I was looking for just like opportunity to grow. I feel like everybody just wants an opportunity to grow while they're figuring it out. Like, sure, there are those people who kind of have the luxury to say, this is what I want to be when I grow up and they do it and some people do it and realize that that's not what they want to do and it's weird because the older you get feels like you know at some point you kind of gotta figure it out i guess but who helps you figure it out I feel like there's a system for everything so if you go to college you know your guidance counselors like everybody is in it to make money you know, the system exists to make money. And so I don't know, where does that leave majority of people? You end up just getting a job to make ends meet. You don't, you're not career driven, you're job driven and you just, you start to maintain. And I'm pretty sure like it's plenty of opportunities and plenty of people out there to talk about like separate streams of income and all of that. I mean, honestly, that ain't for everybody. I mean, I don't know. Could be for everybody, but I mean, for me, is I'm keep this simple. Like, I'm about like, hey, how do you find work that allows you to, you know, and kind of enjoy what you do and give you the freedom and the flexibility to, to, you know, live life and not worry about having to make ends meet and ultimately give you the opportunity to grow in a career. Like, how do you? How do you get that? And I feel like most people don't have that opportunity. And that's what rework training is all about. Like giving people that opportunity for growth to experience something different. Like rework is really more of a collective of just individuals who want that same thing. Like, man, I want to grow. And, you know, as you're growing, ideally you should make more money, you know, year over year, incrementally, you should be able to grow your pocketbook too. And so, I mean, that's what I'm trying to help people do so they're like what's the secret sauce like what the tips the tricks like what do i tell people to do what makes me special hmm. question. i ask myself the same question i mean i feel like i wake up every day and like there's really nothing that makes me special anybody can do this so, so so like then what do i do like what's the what's the method to the madness all right so i mean this here's a here's my theory right there are actually more jobs available than there are people to actually get the jobs like I think 2024 this market that we in like their companies are popping up every day left and right individuals are leaving companies to start their own businesses to or they're getting promoted or they're going to new companies and so they're more it's more opportunity actually out there but companies sometimes do this thing where they say like oh talent isn't qualified they they have a tough time finding qualified talent and what makes talent qualified there's kind of like two pieces to what makes talent talent qualified some of it is subjective to a person's opinion and some of it is actually like kind of hard facts of like they need to be thinking a certain type of way and they need to at least know some fundamentals business acumen right like you gotta know 
know something. And so doing that, I mean, I kind of, this is a combination of like, Hey, how can I teach you what you need to know? The fundamentals, which is what rework does. And the fundamentals aren't that like, they're not rocket science or anything. Like every fundamental thing that you need to know is Googleable. And so it's like the options are like Googling, what do I need to know to get a job at a tech company? And like, well, it's the basics. You can Google them. And so that's part of what half the formula. Then the other half is like, you know, who do I need to know the right person? Like getting past the ATS AI security system. Like, how do you get past all of that? And, you know, I've been doing this for seven years. And so built a solid enough network where. If you put forth your best effort and you understand what you need to know, then I can introduce you to somebody or you can go meet them yourself. And I'll teach you how to do that. And hopefully between doing those two, you get a job. And I mean, that's the, the gist of it. I guess the biggest thing is that you don't have to do it alone. Like getting a job alone is exhausting and sometimes depressing. Like the amount of rejection that you get alone away. I mean, it could eat at you. And ultimately, sometimes I think a lot of people, they get discouraged by the process of trying to grow, especially when they're growing alone, that they end up just going back to a life that they don't like. And so again, rework is just the community to make sure that you're going to get discouraged, but we going to make sure that you power through the discouragement. Like we are here for the discouragement to make sure you actually make it to the finish line. And I guess along the way, I get to meet a lot of cool people, a lot of people from different places, get to hear their stories. And I mean, the stories be awesome from individuals that go from like working, you know, retail job, fast food jobs, no college degree, high school dropouts, people with backgrounds and records, like prison, been to prison, out of prison, truck drivers, like the whole gambit. I get to meet all these cool people help them kind of experience the what I experienced when I worked in tech sales. But then I also get to meet all these different tech sales leaders who are actually just as passionate about helping people and giving people opportunities and kind of putting the two in the same room. And I think something cool about my job is that, you know, without having a college degree, kind of ignorant to a lot of things, like how things are supposed to be. And I kind of wake up every morning with this like sense of like, let me... Like, I know they said do it this way, it's not supposed to be, but let me go the exact opposite way and help somebody be successful and defy odds. I feel like that's the the best part about what I do. Like, I get to defy the odds of someone who's not supposed to be somewhere, and I get to put them in that place every day. And so, you know, I know that that don't come easy. Nothing is ever given. I know that, you know, get rich quick schemes or schemes and at the end of the day like you want something you gotta work for it which is why i gotta get this work hopefully you're subscribed and joining me on this journey of getting twenty five thousand black latinx people of color jobs careers helping them cumulatively make 30 billion dollars over the next 20 years hopefully you're part of those numbers um, yeah, subscribe. You can see what I'm doing. Tuh.